Wow. First 11 COVID testing sites back open and so are the long lines as people wait hours to see if they will test positive for the virus. Good evening. Thank you for joining us here at 11. I'm Todd McDermott. Testing sites are wrapping up and it comes as the Department of Health works to open yet another test facility in Palm Beach County tomorrow to help reduce those long lines and the longer wait times. Our Steve King joins us live from the future testing site in Boynton Beach. Steve. Todd, well, I'm here at Calusa Park, that future testing site in Boynton Beach, which opens tomorrow at 9 a.m. Now, Commissioner Maria Sachs, who represents part of Boynton Beach, says that this new testing site is just the next step in the process to increase testing capabilities throughout the county. It's a very popular park, and I'm sure that it will help to alleviate some of the long lines that we're already seeing at, uh, at many of our other sites. Some of those long lines were at the Gardens Branch Library, where some people had to wait more than five hours for their test on Sunday. Terry Langston got into line at 1215 in the afternoon. I'm just hoping that I don't run out of gas in line. That's my goal right now. And um, wasn't just... tested until about 530 in the evening. I'm a little tired. Um, I would say frustrated, but I do understand um, the, uh, the limited facilities giving the test out and the lack of testing in the area. There are also week-long waits at many of the CVS and Walgreens locations in the county. But Commissioner Sachs says in addition to the new Boynton Beach location, more testing sites are on the way. There will be others that will open as well. What we're trying to do is uh, to open up sites that are close to where people live and work uh, so that it makes it easy for them to come and, and get tested. And this is welcome news for people like Langston. The more sites, uh, the better, because right now I believe there's a huge need for them. But infectious disease specialist Dr. Larry Bush says another key to preventing backups at testing sites is the federal government delivering on its promise to distribute half a million at-home tests sooner rather than later. The answer is we need at-home testing available. They already work. The, they're already approved emergently by the FDA. We just need to encourage the companies to make, you know, to spend their time and efforts and their personnel on, on ramping up the production. And that's a government, that's a government issue. Last week, the White House COVID-19 response team said more announcements about the distribution of those at-home tests will be made soon, but they did not say exactly when. The testing site here at Calusa Park is open every day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Reporting live in Boynton Beach, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.